Hans, go grab the Flammenwerfer. Hey Flashaholics, I'm back with another review, although this time it won't be a full-blown one because I do want to focus on the giveaway which Night Provision has kindly offered to sponsor two of their new TXA flashlights. However, they did mention due to past logistical issues with shipping, this time the giveaway is limited to continental US residents only. Before we dive into the features, the light currently comes as a kit with the standard cardboard packaging. You've got two spare O-rings, included micro USB cable, as well as a wrist strap that comes pre-threaded with this miniature mock needle to allow easy threading into the tail cap. And last but not least, of course, the 18650 battery with a micro USB charging port. Given one of the key features is just how compact this light is, we're just going to start with that first. Previously, I believe the most compact 18650 size light in my collection was a tie between the Manker U11, which is a bit chunkier, or the Xeno S3A, but overall, as you can see, it's still a bit longer. Even Nikkor's recently released EC30 is still a bit larger, and the Thorfire TK18 is more of your typical average size 18650 size light. By comparison, I did throw in two AA size lights here, just to show you again just how small that is, and of course, their 18650 battery here for comparison. Now diving into the features, right off the bat, there is a glass there that's not AR coated. It does feature a flat surface, so you got to be a little bit mindful if you stand it this way with the light on. This particular version features the Nichia 219D emitter, of which here's a close-up shot. There are a few heat fins along the throat of the light, after which the body does feature a very mild pattern here that doesn't really contribute much in the way of the grip. There are also two flat sides that features the company name as well as the model. And then last but not least, there are these two flare guards on the tail cap. However, it does still allow it to tail stand reasonably well. Now it does include a tail clip, although it doesn't really sit flush with the body. So you gotta be mindful, it doesn't clip as tight. Perhaps just removing it and bending that metal back in a little bit more will create a tighter fit. The clip can also be easily removed and mounted on the head side, thus allowing bezel up carry. Now the light does come apart in three pieces. So at the head, you will see that the battery contact nodule is ever so slightly recessed, thus acting as a physical reverse battery protection. And unfortunately would prevent the use of a flat top cell, but however, hopefully you won't need that since it does come with their own 18650 battery. On the tail end, there's a spring right there and the threads are anodized on the tail side, allowing you to unscrew the tail cap to lock out the light. And that is important because the switch on the tail cap is actually an electronic switch and actually has a unique feature that can be accessed in one of its two main modes. And aside from the compact form factor, this is another thing that I truly love about this light. For as you know, regardless of how good a light is, if the UI sucks well, it really hinders the usefulness of the light and thus its desirability and usefulness. Now, the two modes that this light features is one is called the illumination mode that can cycle through five output levels as well as three hidden modes. And then there's another one called the tactical mode, which simply allows you easy access to turbo, a fixed ray strobe, as well as a momentary use mode, which is the first I've seen, especially for a electronic switch light. So how the illumination mode works is a quick tap of the switch will access the last memorized mode. And then you simply cycle through all the outputs from a low moonlight load of half a lumen all the way up to the top 800 lumens in turbo mode. It does feature a memory mode, so I'm going to leave that at the second level, shut it off, turn it back on, and as you can see, that mode is memorized. Now, it does also allow direct access to the moonlight mode. With the light off, simply press and hold, and boom, easy access to moonlight mode for nighttime use without destroying your night vision. It still does allow quick access to the strobe mode, as you can see with the light off, a quick double press will give you access to that fixed ray strobe. Now in strobe mode, to access the other hidden modes of beacon and SOS, it's another quick double click again. So that's the SOS mode. And then a beacon mode. To exit, simply press the tail cap switch once and it'll enter the last memorized mode again. Now one other cool feature that is interesting that I haven't seen on any other lights is 
a countdown timer. With the light on in a fixed output mode, meaning not strobe or beacon or whatnot, you simply press the tail cap switch quickly three times. And there was a quick flash there to indicate that this light is now in countdown mode. And at the end of three minutes, the light will shut off. And there, as you saw, at the end of the countdown, the light will shut itself off. To add an additional three minutes, while in this countdown mode, simply press the tail cap switch three times again. The light will flash yet again, twice now, to indicate that it's added those minutes. And you could keep adding on additional minutes, I believe, up to a maximum of 30 minutes. Although in the interest of time, I'm not going to try that right here. Now that I'm done demonstrating the illumination mode, here's the mode that to me is pretty much a requisite in a EDC light. And that is the tactical mode, which allows quick access to turbo, or the fixed rate strobe, as was the momentary on feature I mentioned about. To access that, with the light on and off, quickly press the tail cap switch seven times. The light will flash multiple times to indicate it's switched to mode. And now as you can see, easy access to turbo, as well as strobe, or that interesting momentary mode now you got to keep in mind, this is an electronic switch, which typically requires a on and off press. But this is the first time I've experienced a light with the electronic switch that allows momentary use. That's pretty cool. To switch out of the tactical mode, it's again the same seven presses. And bam, you're back in illumination mode. And it still retains the last memorized mode, as you saw right there. So I'm going to end the review right here, but overall, I've been using this for the past few weeks and I truly, truly enjoy the versatility of this light, especially the ability to set it into two different modes. Now onto the giveaway, there's no crazy rules like, okay, you gotta follow Twitter, whatever, none of that. You just simply need to post in the thread that I've established your interest to join. Now in the interest of getting these lights out to you guys quickly, I'm gonna set the ending of this giveaway at the end of October 21st, Eastern Standard Time. And then I'll use random number generator or whatnot to determine the winner and announce it in the respective threads. As mentioned, there can only be a maximum of two winners, regardless of how many threads I establish. And that's simply it. Now, there may be some of you who has heard enough and be like, hey, this is a very nifty EDIC. I would like to pick it up. You could simply hit up the link in the thread or the video. I do not make any referrals from this and only post it as a courtesy to the sponsor. So best of luck to all of you guys. I'm very excited about this first giveaway. I hope to establish more in the future. Thanks again for watching.